and welcome back to Sandy Storytime. How are you today? Have you had a chance to go outside and maybe take a walk and get some exercise? I did earlier and I feel wonderful. Today we are reading Grandma's Tiny House, a counting story, written by Janae Brownwood and illustrated by Priscilla Burris. This is the author and illustrator's dedication page to my grandma, Mary Richardson, and to my big, wonderful family and their unrelenting love and support, JBW. For all lovable grandmas, and especially for Lily, Harriet, Isabel, Rosario, Judy, and Blanche, P.B. Tiny in size at the edge of Brown Street sits grandma's old house where we all go to meet. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this time? Who knows? One grandma waits in her big easy chair while two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. Mmm, that probably smells really good and reminds you of Thanksgiving time. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. So now we're at the number four, three and four. Let's see what happens. Number five, five family friends strut straight up the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jams made of pears. Mmm, I bet you that jam tastes delicious made of pears. Now we're at number seven. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, ice cold and fine. I'm sure that lemonade tastes so delicious. Nine chattering aunties all head for the den and set down the cheesecakes that add up to 10. We're at number 10 now as we count along. Now we have 11 nephews join slapping high fives and fumbling 12 sweet potato pies. Oh my gosh, they're fumbling the pies. Those pies look too good to drop and waste. Sweet potato pies are one of my favorite. 13 thrilled nieces burst in on the scene with 14 fresh honeydew, juicy and green. Oh my goodness, those honeydew look so good. And who is that running? Last but not least, 15 hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. They are so happy to see grandma and so excited to be at her house. That's when the walls bulge. There is no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny place? Wow, that looks really crowded. What do you think they'll do? Let's see. She says, I know, as she whispers in Grandma's ear. We've stuffed this old house, but the yard's long and wide. Why don't we move our big dinner outside? What a great idea. So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces, while uncles and aunts lug dinnerware pieces. So everyone's doing their part to move the dinner party outside and they're all chipping in and doing their part to make it a nice big fun backyard feast. Friends grab the tables, grandkids grab the cheers. The rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. They're setting it up, it looks like a good idea. Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sits Grandma's backyard where we all go to eat. What a great story about how a small idea made a huge difference. All they did was move the get together outside where there was plenty of room for everyone to still enjoy themselves just like they always do. The author of this book, Janae Brown Wood, loves to celebrate all holidays with her giant family, even if that means squishing inside a too tiny house. When she's not spending time with friends and family, Janae is a professor of early childhood education and writes books for children. She is the author of Amani's Moon. Janae lives in California with her husband, Catrail, and her two turtles, Theodora and Theodosius. 
you can visit Miss Brownwood at www.JanaeBrownwood.com. The illustrator of this book, Priscilla Barris, comes from a big family and grew up with a library across the street from her home. Her love of books blossomed alongside her love of illustrating. She studied illustration at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Priscilla has illustrated many books for children, including the Heidel Heckelbeck series and Maggie and Milo Make New Friends. She lives with her hilarious, creative, and loving family in California. You can visit Miss Burris at www.priscillabarris.com. Thank you for joining Sandy Storytime. Thank you.